Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. One of the very delicate, sensitive and intricate etiquettes is appreciating and understanding the fine balance between the adoption of means and reliance on Allah. So prior to the floods at the time of Nuh alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed him to build the ark. Uh, we learn from this the adoption of the means for which Allah has given consent and permission do not go against the station of Nabuwa. Likewise, when a person is traveling to take some provisions, take some food, take some arrangements, this is perfectly fine. It's not like rely on Allah and you don't have to take food with you. No, Musa and Khadir alayhima min Allahi as salatu wa taslim, they traveled, hamlu zadi fihi, they took provision with them. Wa annahu la yunafi at tawakkul, this does not go against the station of reliance. Uh, recently, a brother phoned me uh, who's into business and economics and finance, etc. And he said to me, is there a verse in the Quran that suggests the permissibility uh, that you can keep some cash with you? Uh, is there any verse? And Alhamdulillah, this verse came to my mind. I said, yes, indeed, in the Quran, in uh, Jews 15, chapter 18, uh, Surah Kahf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the, the youth who took shelter in the cave. And after three centuries, when they got up, what did they say? These were pious, these were noble people, but they kept money with them because it can help you, it can assist you at times. Take this money, go to the city and buy pure and halal food. In fact, in the same chapter, in, in, in Surah Kahf, chapter 18, verse 84, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about Dhul Qarnayn. Inna makkanna lahu fil ard. We gave him power on the earth. Wa atainahu min kulli shay'in sababa. And we blessed him with means and provisions. Uh, in Bayan al-Quran, it is written, Fihi dalalatun ala anna husul al-mal hatta al-khaza'in wa husul al-jah hatta al-saltana la yunafi al-kamal. The acquisition of wealth to the extent of an empire or the acquisition of prominence to the extent of leadership does not go against the station of nobility or piety. So what's the message? Adopt the means, but have the reliance on Allah. And that is the correct balance.